Now the two of you met, well, I think you picked up an eighth grader on MySpace. <laughs> she messaged me first. Yeah. You were freshman though, in all yeah. fairness, but still, eighth grade. He was in my top eight, but that was after he, I say he liked my first picture. He says I liked his first picture, but we honestly don't remember how we came across each other. First time we met in person was, we had a uh, bye week for football. <laughs> and I had gone with my neighbor. I was in eighth grade and her parents just dropped us off and we show up and all of a sudden, Michael's standing there and we just met each other for the first time. It was super weird. We didn't date right away. We kind of uh, hung out a couple times. I met Maddie six years ago at KMK Law. That was our first big kid job. On my first day, Maddie decided she didn't like me. First she had heels to work the first day. And she came in like she owned the place. I knew Maddie was gonna be my best friend when we laid on the credenza one day at work on a Saturday and we ate an entire Philly cheesesteak pizza together. He wanted me to give this Aww. to you. Ugly crier. <laughs> it's a little bean and it signifies the beginning of your guys' marriage and how you guys are gonna grow together. And then he said, so isn't that cool? <laughs> <laughs> On her birthday in 2011, I Message her happy birthday, and that was probably the first time we spoke in a year or two. And I was like, oh my god, mom, Michael texted me and said happy birthday, and she's like, Michael O'Hara, oh my god. <laughs> Michael. Jeez, I don't know where to start. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. When I first met you, sitting on that couch in my living room, holding my daughter's hand, I was like, oh God, I don't know what to do here. You like my bean necklace? <laughs> yeah, very, very nice. But I'll tell you what, over the years, and the, for those of you that don't know it, it's been eight years. Eight years. I had mentioned to Michael that I wanted to learn how to golf for some oh, dumb yeah. reason. You bought the outfit. I know. You bought the outfit. <laughs> And then so by the time we got to like 15, we were playing pretty quick because Maddie wasn't, wasn't really playing. And I get a text saying, hey, Mike and Debbie aren't here yet. And he made me play the 17th hole twice because my parents were late. And she was not happy when I said, let's play it again. This is my favorite hole. And the goal was for me to hit it into the hole on the 18th <laughs> green. It never happened. <laughs> I never was able to hit it in. So then she was just going back and forth. I was like, you know what, There's so what is that in there? Can you grab that? Um, see what that is, is a leaf? I don't want it to knock my ball out when I put it in. And then she did it and then it, I was so worried about family being there, her hitting the ball in the hole that I don't even know if I said, well, you married me. I kind of just put the ring out and, uh, <laughs> and then she started crying. So uh, I, I guess that was yes. You know, I, I realized that you were going to be the man for Maddie when you got teary-eyed at my mom's funeral. You know, that was awesome. You've become a good friend over the past eight years. <laughs> and my impression of you has not changed one bit over those eight years. Even when you cry after getting beat by me in golf. day has been a long time in the making and so much work goes into it. Maddie, I hope it was everything that you dreamed your wedding would be. 
You make a beautiful bride, and Michael is a lucky man to have you by his side. You've raised one of the most genuinely kind, driven, and caring women I've ever met, and given me an awesome second family as well. God, I'm so happy she decided to like me. rely on Michael a lot, a lot more often than he relies on me. But one thing he, he's came to me and asked for is if he's a good dancer. Oh. <laughs> My answer is no. <laughs> he has one go-to that he does, and we might see it a time or, or five tonight. You may kiss the line.